Hey folks, Dino here again. This time, uh, taking a look at, well, a figure line I've not looked at in quite some time. <laughs> this is Ahsoka Tano um, from, well, the box says Star Wars The Mandalorian, but also, more recently, her own show, Ahsoka. Um, so yeah, um, I have still been collecting Star Wars figures, but I haven't really felt the need to review any um, for a while, but I mean, the two that I've just got, Ahsoka and, spoilers, the Jedi legend Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, from his own series as well, that just released, um, reignited my desire to review them. So yeah, um, now that that um, rant is out of the way, shocking I know, a rant from me, um, we'll take a look at the box. So yeah, as I said, this is the version that states she's from The Mandalorian. This was the second release of Ahsoka, I think. Um, the first one was an exclusive uh, three pack with uh, Mando and Grogu which for some bizarre reason is bonkers money, even though the Mando figure and Grogu are kind of pitiful by today's standards. Um, even Hasbro are coming out with new uh, versions, specifically of Mando. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting it, comparing it to the figure arts. Um, but yeah, uh, Really, the only difference between this version, which is the second version, and the one that states it's from her own show, is really the colour of her skin and some of the slight tweaks to her costume, which I really didn't think there was any need. Like, this figure was half the price of the Ahsoka one, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. They're the same figure, folks. You don't need to get the newest one. So you've got the blurb on the back, um, detailing who Ahsoka Tano is. A nice picture on the side of her, played by Rosario Dawson in the live action. And warning, Hasbro, blah blah blah. Surprisingly, window packaging. So yeah, um, for those of you who don't know, Ahsoka was Anakin Skywalker's Padawan, who was basically framed just before Episode 3 happened. Um, if you watch the Clone Wars cartoon, you basically hear everything that happened. Um, but she was framed, she left, um, she came back briefly just as the events of Episode 3 were taking place. And yeah, she went into hiding. And we now catch up to her as a full adult. So yeah. Um, in terms of accessories, she doesn't come with much. The bare minimum. This is a Hasbro after all. <laughs> I mean, saying that, the, the Power Rangers figures that I've not long finished reviewing, um, specifically the remastered ones, those came with some decent accessories. Um, I think it, it just depends how Hasbro's feeling for any one figure. <laughs> like, um, I genuinely think they prefer some over the other. So, her only accessories sorry, um, are her unique white lightsabers, um, which or basically because she purified some Inquisitor crystals, which gave it this white colour. So yeah, very unique to her. Um, details on the blade, um, the, the hilt, sorry, are pretty decent. Um, there is some black where there has to be. And unlike the older Black Series figures, the lightsaber blades do come out quite nicely. And quite easily. So yeah, some um, black and gun metal on these hilts, which I think Ahsoka's lightsabers always wear 
kind of basic. And yeah, you can see there's two little nubs on her sort of waist dress thing. Um, which the lightsabers just quite nicely if you pop them on. They do quite nicely just sit in place, which I'm quite surprised. Um, you would think soft plastic on soft plastic, it would just fall off, but it does work, it does the job. So yeah, um, the one thing this figure is missing is her sort of poncho style cloak that she always wears. Um, I mean, in my opinion, the cloak is pretty much part of their outfit. Like, you wouldn't give Darth Vader without his uh, cape, for example, would you? Or the Emperor without his robes. So yeah, I'm not sure why this figure didn't come with one. Um, especially considering the three pack with a Mando and Grogu, she actually did have one. So yeah, um, really not sure about that, but um, I do have a <laughs> a custom showcase coming out um, where I have made a custom robes for her, which is very easy to do. Um, so watch out for that. So yeah, um, getting into the figure itself, pretty decent. Um, it's got a slight sheen on it. Um, Hasbro's face printing technology isn't quite at the level of Tamashi's, unfortunately. Um, although I would say they're kind of interchangeable. Like Tamashi's face prints always kind of look off, whereas while Hasbro's look a bit sweaty. Is lack of a better word. <laughs> um, they do look more accurate to the actress or actor. Um, in whichever case. Um, you'll see that in the upcoming Obi-Wan review. Um, that's just spot on to Ewan, McGreg uh, Ewan McGregor. So yeah. Um, but yeah, details on the figure are pretty decent. Um, paint work. I was going to say sparse, but it's not really. Um... You've got paint on the arms and the forearms and the wrist and the arm, eh, the hands, sorry. You've got paint here, sort of silver and a bit of brown around the waist. Um, you've got the blue on her, what are they, blickies? Someone will probably correct me in the comments if that's wrong um, <laughs> yeah there's some paint on the chest area as well and brown and silver for her little headband and some more paint down the bottom so yeah this figure is not lacking in paint which is a pretty decent thing so yeah um, in terms of articulation her head is very limited unfortunately um, her, I'm just going to call them head tails in case I got that name wrong <laughs> really restrict the movement to the point where it's kind of a chore to even move them side to side um, makes up for it in the butterfly joint though um, goes back and forth quite well especially for a black series figure a arm goes up that far and swivel um, you don't have a bicep swivel instead you have a swivel at the elbow which is single jointed gets past 90 decent enough the wrists have the hinge uh, which thankfully lightsaber wieldy hands they've put the hinge the right way around <laughs> um, the 
I'm just going to call this the waist and um, because the, the cut is lower down than what this leads you to believe that was a nice swivel she can't really go forward much she can go back a fair bit does the job um, surprisingly there is a thigh swivel hidden in the upper leg which you can't really see for the sculpt here she can kick forward that far this doesn't really get in the way has a single joint at the knee but still pretty decent um, hides it quite well no boot swivel um, but does have the patented Hasbro hinge down there which gets a decent amount of range so yeah um, all in all I am very very pleased with this figure um, like I said there's not much difference between this release and the one for her actual show so this one being 15 quid for me and the other one being 30 it was basically no <laughs> no contest which version I was going to get so yeah definitely a decent figure to have on your shelf um, she fits in really well with the rest of the Jedi and yeah guys I'll see y'all later.